Hey, how's it going, geeks? Welcome back to the channel. Back at it again with more shenanigans. As you guys can see here, I have four Vega Frontiers mining away on a single rig with ricers. Uh, as far as I know, I am the first one to ever to be able to do this. Well, actually, who knows? I would not be surprised if somebody figured out how to do this already. But kept it a secret to be able to buy more cards but you guys know me I'm not like that I'll show you guys how to do it uh, many of you that have Vega Frontier cards have been struggling getting the cards to disable and enable um, allowing you to get the full 2000 plus hashes per second and after messing around with the drivers for not lying, probably a week straight, I finally figured out how to get more than one or two cards in a system. I know previously it was possible to get maximum of three if you ran them directly through the PCI 6 and X slot. But as far as I know, nobody has been able to run them on risers especially this many um, like I said before I would not be surprised if some big company or some other guy figured out how to do this before me but they just kept it a secret to be able to buy more cards um, as you guys can see this particular rig is headless so I won't be able to show you guys the hash rate right now but once I go upstairs I'll remove screen share and I'll show you guys what the computer is hashing yeah you guys can see the system is drawing around 715 or so on average goes up and down here and there it's pretty normal for miners fluctuates a bit man it's super cold down here uh, it's like minus what like minus 10 outside I think super cold and I'm in the basement so it's really really cold down here but yeah uh, I initially bought four cards I knew people were having trouble with this just like prior uh, just like previously with the Vegas 64's people couldn't get more than four cards up and running and somebody eventually figured it out and now the other issue with these cards were these the Frontiers People couldn't get even one single card running on a riser due to the disable and enable bug. That's why I initially only bought four because I wasn't sure. I came really close to returning these cards. But uh, after a really long time, I figured out how to get them up and running. But yeah, got four of them so far. I will be getting two more in the next following days or so and I'll hook them up if I can get six cards to work and I can verify I can do this multiple times over in the next two or three days I will release another video showing you guys how to do this so stay tuned but just know, know for now that you absolutely can get more than one Vega Frontier mining away properly on risers alright so I'm about to go upstairs real quick and show you guys the hash rate 715 watts alright guys so we're back upstairs now I have my Vega 64 rig open and the Vega Frontier rig just for comparison's sake I'll be comparing the hash rate I'm getting out of this guy compared to the hash rate out of the 64's as you guys can see right here, I have the four Vega Frontier cards I showed you guys downstairs. And everything's being detected properly. I have all my settings applied. I can close out of this. And I'm going to open the miner to show you guys that they are in fact working.
and I'll let it sit for a while and I'll compare the hash rate between both of the rigs. Alright, so you guys can see they're all clearly hashing over 2,000. Except this first one right here. It's a funny story with these Vegas 60, uh, Frontiers. I got four cards. One of the four is a different shade of blue, which I thought was kind of odd. And it's just kind of funny how one of the cards hashes less than the rest. And I'm pretty sure it's that one weird looking blue one I got. But whatever, it's still hashing really good. Pretty darn close to 2000. It actually just passed 2000 right now. So you guys can see right here, I'm getting about 2080-ish, 2090-ish, depending on the card. So they're doing exceptionally well. So this is proof right here that I actually have managed to get them to work. And uh, just for comparison's sake, I have the Vega 64s over here. They do hash a little bit less. Um, you should be able to crank these up a bit more, but I don't want to stress the HBM too much, so I'm just going to leave them the way they are like this. But yeah, Vega 64 rig, about 2,000 per card, roughly. Vega Frontier, you can get close to 2,100 per card. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I will be releasing a video showing you guys how to do this. But I want to do my due diligence and make sure everything is working properly. I don't want to release a video and have the information in that video end up being wrong. So I want to make sure I can do this multiple times over. And I want to verify you can run it with at least six cards. And I should be able to do all that within the next two, three days. And then I'll release the video showing you guys how to do it. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.